In this video, I'm going to show you another amazing restaurant, a hidden James in Goa and North Goa. So watch the full video. Namaste, this is Suhit here again with you in my channel Travel with Suhit and this time I'm hunting for some amazing restaurant as you guys know I also love traveling and food different types of food so this time my food hunting has taken me to all the way to Anjuna in North Goa so uh, let's stay tuned and watch the full video because this is gonna be an amazing hidden restaurant in Anjuna uh, and I would don't want to talk more I just want to show the vibe the food the cuisine you know the delicacies is just going to be amazing amazing so watch the full video and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet this is the high time to hit the like and subscribe button and of course press the bell icon so that you get notification for our future videos and let me know your feedback in my comment So guys, we have some uh, sweetened cake latte here, which is one of the USP and very specialities of Ella Cafe. And let me tell you, uh, we have already shot the whole process. So if you are interested in something in how do they make their coffees, you can watch our full video. And now I'm going to test it. You're supposed to stir it so that you mix the coffee shot properly. It smells already amazing. Very nice drink actually. Soothing, too much of coffee, sweeting, and you can have the hint of date in it as well. And it's very, you know, lots of ice in it in this summer day right now. One of a drink you can look on.
Little bit of spiciness, little bit of the Ricardo flavor. Different bouquet of flavor, you know, just bursting out of in your mouth. It's amazing. The food is super delicious. So guys, as you can see, we are sitting at this beautiful setup, enjoying the cool breeze, surrounded by nature. And of course, huge table full of lots of delicacies and I'm privileged to sit with Mr. Sandeep who is a chef and this Pleasure is all you. <laughs> Thank you. So Sandeep is going to tell you about the food, the concept of Ella Cafe, how and when he started and everything so let's not hear me, let's, let's watch come from the creator here. So Sandeep please tell us about you and a little bit of the rest. Yeah, um, so I, I am self-taught and I just started this journey five years back. Wow. And uh, the idea is to uh, do something which is uh, which is very uh, very born out of India. Okay. So that is that is what I wanted to do in all my concepts. And uh, this particular uh, concept is uh, I call it an earth-based as an approach. Okay. Um, I want to stay out from all the buzzwords like organic, sustainability. Uh, because I think uh, I want to make it more inclusive as, as a concept, right? And uh, whatever I can responsibly source from the earth, and I will use that my capital. Great. So having said that, 100% uh, of things you can't do it because of various limitations. But as much as I can, and I want to bring it on the table and also uh, make it transparent to whoever is coming here. Like for example, if you if you like the sweet potatoes or if you like the aubergine, I can tell you where to source from. Okay. I can uh, like we use a lot of uh, uh, grains and pulses, which is also very local. And uh, though the souls, uh, you know, they call it whether it's organic or chemical free, but I think the start of everything is to be uh, to go and find out. Uh, and source what is chemical food, right? Good. And uh, that's what we are trying to do as much as possible. So, uh, of course, I stayed away from the meat uh, because you know that we won't be able to source that responsibly uh, in India as of now. Maybe there are a few people doing it, but I can't bring it on the table because uh, it won't be enough. So what I what I did is so I stayed away from the meat. Uh, seafood, I I decided to use which is very local and which is not over uh, Like so, I stay away from all the the big fish, commercial, the cup, big fish commercial. So I use uh, our uh, local fish like lepo, yeah. and uh, that's uh, supposed to be a, a, a state fish, which is called uh, rainbow bait. Uh, and uh, and then the, we use the the white baits uh, you get in Goa, which is uh, which they after the season and they they dry it and then I use I decided to use white bait and now uh, with the aubergine you know so it is it is very 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 local 
so a lot of people uh, when they eat, uh, idea is that uh, you should uh, you should find it tasty. But uh, when you ask me, then you know that I'm using great ingredients to support that content mm -hmm. So that's the concept. So it is evolving, uh, uh, or it will evolve over a period of time. Uh, so because my supply chain is very different from other people. So I have to go and uh, look for each and every ingredient and who is growing and whether I can use it. So lots of care and effort actually is in effort, the Effort, yeah, even though when you see uh, it's a dish and you know, like for example, I think every dish has got a story behind it. And uh, so that's how I created it. So, but as a, as a customer, when you come here, you should feel that, you know, forget about what ingredient. It has to be just simple tasty food. So you can have a, 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 a simple dish and you can have a great coffee or we're having a drink and then you can leave. Or you can just sit here and work around and uh, you know it's so actually a nice place to you know do your work yeah 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 so that's the entire thing of the cafe and also something which uh, which i which i can call it uh, uh, very uh, in a proud way that you know it is something which is born out of india so though i use all the international techniques and the, and the way uh, the way it is uh, like all the other cafes mm -hmm. now, you know uh, but at the same time, the ingredient is what makes the difference. Very local and yeah, yeah. sourced from here. Yeah. So, uh, if you could just explain about all the dishes here which you have on the table right now. Uh, okay, uh, so basically that's the uh, uh, sweet potato. Mm -hmm. And sweet potatoes are grown uh, here yeah. locally. Yeah. And I decided to uh, pair it with vaichado sauce, which is very mm -hmm. goan. Yeah, goan. And uh, this is my version of uh, roast omelette. I call it not roast omelette. Because usually raw omelets are made with the chicken curry chicken from the yeah. shakuti, and now I, I my my uh, my shakuti is vegetarian. Okay. So I use some uh, some fermented products to actually increase the depth of the flavor. Okay. That's why I call it raw omelet because I don't want people to say, ah, this is not raw omelet. I'll say that this, it is not raw omelet. Okay. Great. <laughs> so it's like a rendition of mine. Then I decided to bring the um, uh, the tomato uh, salad. Okay. Even that. Uh, I use I use a lot of uh, different ingredients to bring the umami up, and uh, these kapha leaves uh, it comes from Ishika Farms, okay. uh, and these uh, greens come from a farm in South Goa. Okay. Uh, so so it is it is also very local, and you know, idea is to give you a simple tomato salad which is tasty, and uh, that's. Uh, uh, your local aubergine, which is like the green color aubergine, okay. the and long one. The long one. Okay. So I use that, and in a very pickle form. Okay. And then I um, put the white baits on it to have that extra umami and texture. Mm -hmm. And of course, that is a simple uh, avocado toast okay. uh, with uh, chickpea to increase the umami. Okay. Uh, sorry, to the creaminess. And also, you have to understand that all the all what you're seeing, it is uh, I I use uh, uh, cashew as a creamer, okay, uh, and with different flavor points, than use a cream. Understood. So most of the dish, if I if I can if I remove this uh, white meat from the uh, from this, it becomes vegan friendly. And uh, so and it, it can be customized even at the last minute. Last minute, minute, if somebody wants it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, and yeah, so that's the the gramlet. Uh, we have this mm -hmm. thing called uh, pinchos. Uh, so just to have one bite, and you know you can have a glass of chill wine, or you know, or coffee, mm -hmm. or, uh, or or a drink, you know, and uh, and uh, so that's the that's the whole idea about it. We decided to use a lot of uh, local breads, and uh, and also uh, a bread which is like is like very uh, neutral in terms of. Simple good bread, but it's neutral so that you know you can taste the bread and so that's that's the concept uh, of this entire <laughs> uh, menu. Yeah. And this is lepo, right? That's lepo. Lepo fried and then. Uh, you so have basically, some what, uh, if I if, if you want me to explain more, so we have lepo, okay. and this is um, like a beurblon sauce, okay. but uh, uh, there is no uh, cream in it. And it has got uh, coconut milk. We use it for that. And when we use the local citrus, okay, lemon zest or something. Yeah, the whatever. So uh, in, uh, around here, people, different people grow citrus, but it's not the same everywhere. Mm -hmm. So whatever is available, and I just use that and uh, and bring it onto the table, so that you know, even though you feel it, it is a simple dish, but it is 
lot of detailing goes into that simple. You know, I mean, that bouquet of the taste that they absolutely. Eat. So to, today you might, I might use this small orange which is locally present, and it will have a lesser uh, uh, depth in terms of the citrus, citrus, mm -hmm. and but it will be more flavorful and more aromatic. And tomorrow I might get another citrus, so it will be more citrusy. So you but always have the vibrant, the vibrant. Yes. So some, 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 sometimes people think that hey, today the the it's not the depth of the citrus uh, or, or the or the, or the uh, sourness. Is, I said it is because of that. Because if I use lime, it will be the same every day. Mm -hmm. yep. But the idea is to how do I bring these citrus onto the table is the question, right? Because a lot of people don't use it and it goes waste. If you actually see, you know, you go to the yeah. Mapsa Market. I don't know whether you've been to Mapsa Market. Yeah, so it, all these, uh, all these older ladies, they they bring this citrus of different size and yeah. shapes, and and uh, so I thought, you know, it's a it's a great thing to bring it on the table. Yeah, yeah, great, great culinary experience, and I believe you guys will also love to watch this because lots of information and. Now we're going to enjoy and relish the beautiful and amazing looking and yummy smelling food here. So watch the full video and Ella Cafe's contact number and link everything will be in the subscription. If you are traveling to North Goa, this would be one must visit place. If you are into food, you know you would love to hunt for food. Yeah, that would be the right word. You should come here to Anjuna and yeah, relish the food here. The amazing uh, vibe here is amazing, very peaceful. Uh, you can see the. You know, surrounding nature and everything, and it was lovely talking to you. Really, thank you, thank, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thanks. Nice having you all. Thank you, thank you. Thank you.